in order to fabricate the final dental fixed prosthesis on the master model it is important to section this model to removable parts that accurately attached to a base preserving exactly the original dimensions of the master model. This process starts with trimming the base to be about 9 to 11 millimeter. It's important that to achieve also a U-shape uh, working model. So after using the model trimmer the master model should uh, have these dimensions as I mentioned about uh, 9 to 10 to 11 millimeter uh, height from the CEJ U-shape and uh, of course it's uh, level and smooth surface on the base and I marked here the sections emphasizing the working die so I marked exactly where it's going to be sectioned and the center of the die with a red line and the position of the pins so each section ha has to have at least two pins okay so now to start the pin indexing uh, I will uh, first turn on the machine so you see this switch on and that will turn the drill on and the light of course the light will indicate exactly where it's the hole will be on the base but uh, it's not always very reliable because it is uh, since this technique is very sensitive we need to make sure that this is exactly in the right place you want it and what I would like to do and I want you to do to turn the machine off and let's take a closer look here and show you exactly what I meant by relying on the physical contact of the drill with the sign that you marked on the on the model by pushing the the handle up you will see that uh, this <coughs> drill will go up and you can exactly indicate where you want it you can touch exactly the mark so in this point here I want to make first drill on this hole here so I just push against it and let the handle go down slowly and gently until that I my model is flush with the surface of the pin indexing and here I cannot move the model at all and hold it firmly on the base from both sides with my fingers at this point I am sure that the drill will go against that mark so I turn at this point my machine on and gently by pressing on the model and make sure that it is stable and with the other hand I'm going to drill now slowly pushing up the handle against my model to the point where the light will turn off at this point its indication to stop drilling so you go down again and you can ensure for a second time and at this point you can turn it off and as you see my the hole here it's exactly where is the mark uh, the same thing here you make sure that this is clean with the air pressure you can clean it and make sure now it's exactly the same technique so the machine off put the drill exactly on the mark and slowly gently go down with the drill and the model all as one piece 
until it's stable, turn the machine on, and stabilize the model firm and gently push the handle up and drill the second hole all the way up you have to be gentle and let the time of drilling don't push too much to the point where the light is off that's indication of where you want to stop and then go down again and another time just to make sure at this point you turn it off and you have your second hole done so this is we are going to do everything the same technique with all these drilling all these holes at this uh, point we are ready to uh, try the pin so with one pin we are going to try inside each hole to make sure it's uh, smooth and a right fit before gluing the pin inside so with the right end the end um, with two steps that's inside the hole the other end is a little bit tapered that will stay out so I'm going to try each hole to see it's nice it has nice and smooth fit and you should go inside the hole to the point where it's you hear the click where it stops and if you see is a little bit resistance not that smooth so what you can do because you need to have perfect fit because you are going to add the glue and you shouldn't have any problem when you are going to do that so if a little bit of resistance could so what you are going to use a, a drill is a manual drill that is provided in the lab and it looks like a small screwdriver so you just uh, insert it inside the hole and turn it around just to clean the dust and then apply air pressure to clean more and then try again your pin and should fit nicely without so it's not too tight and not too loose just perfect fit with all the holes at this point you are ready to glue the pins uh, before uh, applying the glue uh, uh, what what uh, it's uh, uh, good to do is uh, using the blade just bevel the edges of the base so this is I did it uh, previously as you see very small bevel around all the edges of the base as you see very small that will help a lot um, separating the model from the base future base so now uh, we are ready to glue the pins um, of course uh, what you have here it's the glue there are two ways to uh, glue the pin is to apply it with the brush on the tip where it's going to go inside the uh, model or you can put a little bit of glue in a dapping dish and then dip the um, the pin and then put it in the model so uh, I'm going to apply a little bit of glue as you see here and you have to be quick enough to put it inside each one so this is one all the way and then you will do all the pins same way so as you see a little bit of glue and then put it inside the hole all the way has to be the same level and you continue to do all the pins okay
And uh, then we put it in a piece of uh, paper towel or uh, lab paper. And then um, we uh, use the super sap and generously uh, spray all the bottom of the model where are the pins and also on a little bit on the lingual side and buccal labial side so make sure that everything is wet and then at this point we can do immediately after spraying we start to put the sleeves so sleeves are just they fit perfectly on the pins the red sleeves and now we are ready to uh, mix our microstone